Hello. In this demo video, I'm going to provide an overview of Prisma Cloud Cloud Workload Protection capabilities, where we provide protection for hosts, containers, and serverless functions across the complete application lifecycle. To begin, I'm going to show you the radar view. Prisma Cloud provides a powerful view into the live security posture of your hosts, containers, and functions. Clicking on any of the tabs under radars will surface all of the entities that I'm protecting across any of my multi or hybrid cloud infrastructure. To begin, I'm going to focus on the container radar. Here, I've deployed entities on multiple locations with Kubernetes and Docker. To begin, I'm going to click on this application here. And one of the things you'll instantly see is that Prisma Cloud has surfaced a live network topology of all of the connections of this individual entity. I can understand information, not only from these traffic flows, but also from the latest vulnerability, compliance, and runtime intelligence that we've identified with this application. We bring data into Prisma Cloud from the Prisma Cloud intelligence stream, which includes not only the latest vulnerability data, but also our advanced threat protection data, like IP reputation lists and malware data. If I wanted to understand more about the vulnerability posture of this individual container, I could click into the vulnerabilities tab here. We'll see the severity of all the known issues and can instantly expand any of them to see not only the severity, but the package, original CDE source, the fix status, and any risk factors associated with this entity. We provide these capabilities for all of your hosts, container images, and functions from unified views like this one. Additionally, if I wanted to understand more about the compliance posture of this entity, I could come over to the Compliance tab. Here, for example, I can see that I've stored private keys in the image, and we've got information here about this specific issue, but we're also going to look at checks from the Docker, Kubernetes, and Linux CIS benchmarks, as well as any other custom compliance checks that you may have implemented. We also have a powerful view where you can go layer by layer through the Docker file that was used to build this image in real time. If I want to learn more about everything happening globally in my environment, I can use the powerful features under Monitor to see all of the vulnerabilities and compliance issues to help me prioritize risk or ensure compliance. For example, within Vulnerability Explorer, you'll see powerful top 10 lists across images, hosts, and functions. Here, we provide a proprietary risk score of the greatest risk in your environment correlated to each individual CVE. If there's a CVE found across your infrastructure, we'll pull all of that information into an isolated view so you can quickly understand and respond to any of the risk you see here. Here, I'll pop into another image vulnerability where I could quickly expand the risk tree so I could instantly see exactly what host this image is running on. I can also see the risk profile, which is quite high for this issue. So I can see that I've deployed this container without a mandatory security profile applied. It has listing ports and it's running as root, adding to its security um, rating. I can also see any of the other vulnerability factors that correlate and add to this risk. Most importantly, I'm able to see vulnerability data across the entire application lifecycle from this single view. I can look at code repositories, images, whether I want to look at builds or image registries. And then I can even come into the CVE viewer to specifically look for a CVE if there was something noteworthy that I wanted to look for. We have a very similar view for compliance. We provide a global rollup that we call Compliance Explorer, looking at all of our pre-built checks, as well as any custom compliance checks that you may want to implement. You can dive into those here, just like you can in our live radar view and as well as pipe this data out to quickly report on it. All of the checks that you see here, as well as all of the vulnerability settings, are fully customizable within Prisma Cloud. For example, if I come to the Vulnerability Rules tab, I can quickly add rules governing alerting or blocking across the application lifecycle. I can apply it based on container or image name, across hosts, or other entities in my environment. And I could even set a blocking rule to apply a rule only when there's a vendor fix available for full customization. I also have the ability to customize rules across hosts, containers, and functions when it comes to compliance. So here, if I come into the container, container and image compliance tab, 
I can quickly see that we have compliance templates mapped to GDPR, PCI, NIST SP800-190, and HIPAA compliance guidance. Clicking on any of those pre-built templates will automatically adjust the nearly 400 checks across all of my infrastructure. And I can quickly customize and edit these default checks to my liking. These checks also apply to hosts and functions. And we also provide other powerful compliance capabilities like trusted images, where you can isolate the original source of your images to ensure that your development or DevOps team isn't pulling images or deploying them from unwanted sources. You can also set up custom compliance checks using our code editor found within Prisma Cloud. For the last part of the demo, I wanna highlight some of our powerful runtime capabilities. For both hosts, containers, and functions, we provide the ability to automatically build a model of known application behavior and essentially lock it down or compare any new activity against that baseline of behavior. So I'll click into one of my containers at random. And here you can see that we have an active model correlated to the SHA-256 of the image. And I can quickly see all the known process, network, file system, or capability components that Prisma Cloud automatically identified because of the Prisma Cloud Defender agent being deployed in the environment. We would provide the same here with host observations. Anytime something deviates from the known good model of application behavior, we'll surface either an event audit or a runtime security incident. These audits are correlated across containers, hosts, and serverless. For example here, I can see several container audits across my infrastructure where unusual activity occurred. And I can then see what happened with Prisma Cloud. Did we alert on it? Did we block it? And you can dive into this for further analysis. There are many different event types that you can hop into. For example, for hosts, we can also look at host audit behavior. We can look at host log inspection activity, host file integrity rules governing read write access, as well as other host activities that we've detected, such as logins or app modifications. When there's something that's serious that occurs, that Prisma Cloud flags as a security incident, we automatically capture that data and store it securely for analysis, as well as provide a powerful view within here, Incident Explorer. Here, we'll surface the attack category or the threat category, the kill chain of the incident, the view with radar, and you can even click on the view forensic data tab to quickly understand exactly what happened when this incident was identified. You can see things such as new containers being started or connections established, and quickly zip through to understand more information about this event. If you wanted to, you can even export this data for further analysis. Thank you very much for this demo of the Prisma Cloud Cloud Workload Protection set of capabilities. I hope you'll learn more at paloaltonetworks.com. Thank you.